I take the life of a fool. I sat in a lonely day. I'm on the avenue, hoping to run to the very side of you. Coming my way. I saw you just in front of the door, but you're never there anymore, till you come back to me, when I cry, tears of goodbye. To the very side of you, come in my way. I stop just in front of your door, but you're never there anymore till you come back to me. After the way it will be every day in the life of a fool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Somewhere this music I'll think of too Somewhere this heaven I'll hide a moon There is no moon above it But this far away too Till it comes true that you love me as I love you So when this music How near, how far So when it's heaven It's where you are The darkest night won't shine If you won't come to me soon until you will be still
I know that's why I invited you. Because I forgot. Why did you ask me? Yeah, you'll see me. I'm in one night. Thanks for coming, friends. Thank God you'll be able to cancel. I was going to have to try and go.
William, you will be right here okay. so that when I call you up on the stage, right up there. Do you remember the
I was like, I knew the lane, but I don't know, I don't care. I don't want anyone to know who I was. Right, right. They start with you know? I'm flying under the radar. Man, it's brutal. But they for a breeze. I'm going to make sure they put this inside. I hope we can find it. I mean, it's worth the Yeah, yeah. I think we're we'll bigger than half of the inside. Can we be more? Yeah. 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 October. Well, exactly. Well, I think originally we had this because we had she had a lady that was doing it, but that's when she took the she had some guy from Channel Seven or something. Oh, what's the case? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's not easy. Then there's God shall often not shall be. So and it still is new. So, Mama may have, Mama may have, but the child. That's got it so. That's got it so. Yes, the strong gets far, while the weak one fades. Empty heart gets stoned, even makes a dream. So, Mama may have that song. Papa may have the God was a child that's what it's all that's what it's all Money you've got to lots of friends to promise round the door Mama may have, Mama may have, but God bless the child that's got it so, got it so. Thank you. 
This is Sheriff McDermott. I didn't know he was going to be here. <laughs> He's another one of our clients. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Leah, it's like being a Leah, there we go. Keep going again and again. Just keep going. Don't miss it. 
Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, right. we're going to get things underway here in Phoenix, Arizona in just about 10 minutes. So we're going to ask you to start to work your way to your tables. All of our vendors have gone out of their way to prepare so many of their very special dishes tonight for all of us at the Ark. But please, get some food. The bar's going to close down during our speaking program. And there's that breeze that we ordered. on Tuesday and I edited the reel. Yeah. He was in the reel as the auctioneer. Then he shows up, I see him, then he's here. I'm like, what is I guess what is going on? The world. Yeah, this yeah. sounds sure. Well, and just so you know, Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. The uh, $12 bill. Yes. yes. He was the state senator. Oh, he's the mayor of Raymond. The mayor of Raymond. Yeah. You know what's funny is when we first started this business, we pitched him to do town marketing. Oh, yes. yes. But I don't think he ever got, no, got it. You had a conversation with him, right? It was by email. Okay. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, remember? I think it now's the time. I think the guy. So retired now, though, we'll do a lot of consulting. You're the best. He knows Lisa really well. We are in a selfie together. Oh, let's do one more. Yeah, you want me to take one? Yeah. You want me to take it? He's going to be mad he's not here. Ready? I know Jackie's gonna have to remove the photo. Yep, that's good. On my website. I think it's like a weird press where it's like kind of more. Yeah, you know what? I'll send this to Lisa and then I'll add you. Go ahead. Jim's sort of like the traveling auctioneer of the Boston and I don't know. I'm good at Yeah. You can get up there with me. I'm gonna get up there with Jim. I'm going to find out what to do. 
Hi, Jim. You should have that. Now. Is oh, then. Content. Oh, yeah, well, that's when you have time. You have time. Yeah, is there an extra seat here? No, yeah, I want to go yep. too much. Yeah, right here. Do you want to run and get a picture with Abby and you before everybody gets too hot? And then well, all of us, all of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's get a picture with Sheriff too. For sure. My wife says, "Take the yes, no, <laughs> Take those off. We're always on. Have yeah, them going. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Post that. Post with the tear. Yeah. Only the top clients in the club are the bakers. Bakers make it happen. They're making it happen on the show. Yeah. I'm going to call actually from someone from the Ark of Massachusetts today, too. So okay. hopefully we can uh, get them. I think I'm going to be emceeing something that they're doing in October. So we got to talk to the Sheriff's Association. I can talk to our money there. Get to that goal, too. Yeah. Well, I run the executive director who I work with now. He was helping with the president in January. Perfect. She's got, she's got the transition. So, like January. And I just love it. She, she follows all her stuff. Yeah. She, like, no, we, we, I met her, I think, um, at the event that we were all at. Okay. Isn't she there, too? Yes. Yeah. I met a woman from the Sheriff's Organization. And so, at the end of the day, that's, that's I think, the next move. And I did it. That's the thing. We've been talking about hiring PR and all the things for all this. Yeah. yeah. And everybody just kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it kind of takes something like what we're doing to really take it beyond what you can do internally, right? Hey, the extra right. video side of it is a lot more than most people can handle inside, unless you're going to really get those experts in. And even then it's hard. We're looking at it. Did Sam reach out to you? She did. We're trying to do a little build out here. City, are you talking about the city line thing? No, different oh. What we're trying to do is we, we want to, it's like, you mentioned a lot of build it up internal communications. Okay. And so yeah, trying to make the sheriff's office a daily kind of call to get on our YouTube channel. So, we all know. Yeah. Um, and so I fucking got hired in the communications team in the country. Yeah. And I want to like hire a new person who wants to be a reporter. Yeah. And actually, every day, we'll find something just to go on a quick thing. Yeah. So, you know, have inside the channel. I know it's probably some little privacy. Yeah, I do is, that there's a, probably some decent stories, at least, regarding the spend, uh, the, uh, the education stuff and the re-entry and, like, the program. And ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to ask you to take your seats, get comfortable. We're going to go ahead and shut the bar down right now for our speaker program. You want to jump into the first uh, speaker program? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I know for many of you, I know for many of you, this is probably your first time working together as an audience, so the ARC and our AV crew is going to put you to work for just a minute as we shoot an updated video for the ARC. So listen for your cue, and when you hear it, we need this room to explode with all the clapping, cheering, all the noise you can make. Ready? Listen for your cue. Lots of noise. Listen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your master of ceremonies, Jim Fagan. Come on! Come on! Come on, crank that music up! We are live for the South Shore Art. A little bit, a little bit about your MC before I kick things off and we do the auction and have our keynote speaker. From Winthrop, Massachusetts, where I'm one of 13 children. I have to tell you, as one of 13, I didn't know what it was like to sleep alone until I got married, just so you know. Hey, a quick story that I heard today on the golf course. 
husband and wife are married 35 years. They go on a camping trip together, and the first day out, unfortunately, the husband takes a dumbbell, hits his head on a rock, unconscious. You know the rest of the drill. They transport him to a small triage center at the bottom of the mountain. The doctor says, your husband is very seriously injured. But if you can tell me his blood type, I think you can save them. Women panic. She goes, married 35 years. I know everything about this man except his blood type. She goes over and gives him a hug. Four days later, she's at St. Mary's Church down in Hanover, giving the words of remembrance. And she says, I have to tell you, my husband loved us and the children more than anything in the world. And before he died, while well, I was giving him a hug, he whispered in my ears some words to live by. He said, be positive, be positive, be positive. Come on, that's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Come on! So we're going to make some money. We're going to have a great time tonight. And an event like this just doesn't happen. It happens with all of your support. You know, we can all make a lot of money in life, and we can certainly make a lot of friends in life, but until we make a difference in someone's life, I hope you'll agree with me. We haven't closed that circle. Give yourself a round of applause for being here tonight. Come on! There are famous, famous commercials out there all over the country. National, local, international. But there's only one commercial that people on the South Shore relate to. Tomer Appliance, where there's always a... Doctor, Are you still videoing? I'm self yeah. Is this is this I his first non porn video? Oh, okay. I have all the words. Is it true you, you've been married so long? Your wife rolled over and said, "What's the matter? You can't think of anyone else either." Is that you? No, somebody else. Okay. All right, I'm done. So I had a whole speech written, I had a video, all kinds of PowerPoints, and I was told to keep it under 45 minutes, so oh. I hope you all got drinks. Now, I just want to really, really thank everybody for being here. You're all a friend of the ARC. Please buy a t-shirt. Do we have any with the padding still in them? Are there any left with the padding? Okay. We still got plenty of t-shirts for you. Uh, I really, really want to thank the vendors and the people that made this happen. It's unbelievable. Thank you very much, everybody, for showing up. Is that a cue? I missed the cue. Oh, okay. A lot of people say it rehearses, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring up. Mary, no? Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Where is she? Is she still, is she still here? I hope so. I want to thank everybody. Mary Nell is the new chair. She's taken over for me, and hopefully she can do a better job. Oh. <laughs> kindness, generosity, it is time, money, family, and fantastic appliances. Okay. So, so I want everybody to do a standing ovation for George because we wouldn't be here without them and the family and the support that he's given us. As a board member and incoming chair, my goal for the ARC is to provide housing for those with intellectual and development disabilities, including autism and the underprivileged people that are hitting 22 years old. That 22-year crisis is upon us, and they deserve our help. One example of support is the smart home initiatives that we've been doing, technology-based solutions for the houses to make all of our fabulous residents feel better and get there from here. If you haven't seen the Patriot Ledger article, Google it. It's really fantastic. You'll get, it's just wonderful. And if anybody has a house to donate or has a long-term lease, we are definitely looking for housing. If anybody knows of anything, we would love to talk about it. And for all our other fantastic causes, please donate, 
volunteer, be friends with the ARC, like George had said. We can't do this without you. Everybody here knows this, and we really, really appreciate you. Now for the main program, Abby, our CEO, will lead us through the rest of the event, and I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody that's here, along with wishing that the bar was open to get ice cubes for everyone. So if we think ice cubes, we'll cool off. But welcome to Abby, and thank you for Abby to bring us through the next set of endeavors. Mike, how's everybody doing this evening? Woo! Oh, come on. You can do a little better than that. That's what I'm talking about. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is really cold tonight, and I apologize. We apologize in advance. I'm so happy and grateful to welcome you to the Ark of the South Shore's annual soiree, our major fundraiser under the tent, a wonderful evening on the shores of Webb Park. And, um, you know, I couldn't do this work without the Valley of Parents and Caregivers that believe in the Ark of the South Shore. It started this organization in the 1950s. Thank you to all the parents in the room. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our soiree sponsor this evening, the Plan of Massachusetts. Thank you. My mayor is in the building, yeah. under the tent, Mayor Hedlund. Yeah. Yeah. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, as we lean confidently into the future uh, of the Ark of the South Shore, filled with innovation, strategic vision, I am honored to represent the uniquely and beautifully abled population that I serve. They believe in us to ensure safe, happy, and a progressive path and way towards the future. They are our superstars. And you don't have to take my word for it. Tonight you will hear from one of our superstars in his own words. As I say, you know, it's an honor to serve in this capacity. I don't have bad days. Um, you'll figure this out as the evening progresses. You know, we have a really exciting platform for the future. Uh, we're focusing on smart technology in all of our group homes. Our Turning 22 Autism Group Home Initiative is very powerful and needed. We can't build these fast enough. We're trying to meet unmet needs in the community through the work that we're doing. But it's important to know that the Ark of the South Shore also serves the lifespan. We have an early intervention program, day services, employment, a self-funded autism resource center, an adult foster care program, a PCM, personal care attendant program. And ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting started. <laughs> Every dollar that you donate tonight, it will make such a critical difference because we receive state and federal funding, as you know, and it falls short of the true operating costs of an organization of the size and scope. And you know, I couldn't do this work without the support of a progressive board. My board of directors, please stand up. Thank you. And the countless employees that are volunteering tonight under this tent. You are my superheroes. Please raise your hands. Stand up. After this house, please. Thank you. I do this work with you and alongside you and for you. Brenda Linden, our Chief Strategy and Engagement Officer. Woo! Where are you, Brenda? Woo! Brenda! Creativity. What a beautiful night. Thank you, Brenda. I do what you tell me to do. Um, <laughs> so, you know, tonight is a night of celebration. It, it never gets old for me. As I always say to you, it's the honor of my life and career to serve in this capacity. And we hear the old adage all the time it takes a village. Woo! Look around. Yeah. You are that village. Thank you. I have the pleasure and honor of bringing up our guest speaker. Uh, this young man is a tech guru. 
he corrected me earlier tonight and said, no, Abby, I'm a tech genius. Wow. He is a young man who lives in our first smart home. He is phenomenally talented. We are honored and grateful to call him our own. Please give it up for William Nutt, our guest speaker. On. Testing. <laughs> all right. Thank you for. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry. Let's just from this side. Um, thank you all for coming tonight. My name is William Nutt. I'm. I would like to say that I love my beautiful new smart house. It is full of technology and security for all my roommates. It is the best group home I've ever been in. Um, but it does not feel like a group home. It feels like a home. I want to thank everybody that helped make our new smart house the best. And I thank everyone individually at home. Um, thank, uh, sorry. Thank uh, everybody for a beautiful home like, like mine and everybody else's. Thank you. I was also supposed to introduce you as Tony Stark. Yeah. <laughs> I just forgot my lines. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are. And so now, um, this beautiful evening is also an opportunity for you to look behind the curtain to see the wonderful work we do every day in empowering individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, including autism, to live authentically their fullest lives. So without further ado, I would like to cue the video. Hi, my name is William Nutt. Um, I'm autistic and I am very, very smart with technology. Like I can't be away from something that has a plug. Thankfully, at his group smart home created by the Ark of the South Shore, there are plenty of plugs, screens, and even Wi-Fi all connecting those who live here with information to help them thrive. And there's technology everywhere. And I completely feel safe, completely. I don't feel unsafe. This is the safest house I've ever been in my entire life. William shares his home with three other adults with autism and house manager Chris Mitchell oversees their progress. Some of the technology in this home, we have uh, no touch faucets, which help with people with mobility issues. We have ring camera, so somebody can see who's coming into the home before they open the door or wait for a ride. We have surveillance cameras as well for security around the home. Everybody has a phone. Everybody feels independent? Yes, everybody's independent. It's a goal achieved for William, but the need does not end there. Caregivers, parents are struggling for a group home placement when their children turn 22, when their adult children turn 22, and that's when the entitlement drops off, so they have to navigate on their own. So I'm really proud that the Ark of the South Shore is taking this move. Uh, to help parents. Next year, there will be another smart home opening in the fall, and the hope is to add more. All this in addition to the range of services that span a lifetime for individuals with intellectual or developmental disabilities, including autism, starting with early intervention. Hi, this is Aarti, and my daughter's name is Amira. She is now 2.5 years old. Initially, doctors said her iris is not there. But doctor told us like we can get some help from the early intervention. Hurry, squirt the water. Hurry, hurry, squirt the water. They helped a lot. Like I feel if I didn't get early intervention, I may not expect my child to do what she's doing right now. Now she's doing so much great in so many activities areas. If you see an alligator, don't forget to scream. But what happens after three years old? 
It's a gap that once again, the Ark of the South Shore found a way to fill with their self-funded Autism Resource Center. Diane Wilcox has two boys with autism and her experience is incredibly valuable. We get information and referral calls uh, from like just every walk of life, right? So we get them from families that just have gotten a diagnosis and they really have no idea what to do. To adults that sort of knew something was sort of off with them, but they didn't really know what, but now they, they're figuring it out and they're trying to find a place to get a diagnosis. So in the Autism Resource Center, we are there to hold the family's hand and do whatever we can for them. Good afternoon, everybody. How's it going? But all of this costs money. Another gap CEO Abby Perilla is determined to fill. I think that what keeps me up at night is thinking about the long-term sustainability of an organization of this size and scope. We get state and federal funding. However, that falls short of the true operating costs. I'll give you a very concrete example. Staffing is a critical part of providing the services that our individuals need. At a state and federal level, for example, in my day habilitation program, the funding provides less than $10 an hour for our employees to be paid. I pay 20. She knows her staff retention is key to achieving her mission of creating an inclusive society and maintaining their long list of services, like their community-based day services program for high-functioning adults, where individuals can learn life skills or receive job coaching. At the ARC, it's really important to understand what we do in the community. We preserve the autonomy and self-determination of everyone we serve, and that's through advocacy, community integration through our programs, and a lifelong span of care. That's also accomplished through the Ark of the South Shore's Day Habilitation Program, where they provide both medical care and social recreation for more medically complex individuals. It's from painting, group activity, comfort in, health and wellness. It's my favorite stuff to do with them is make sure they have a smile on their face. It's been a game changer for caregiver Roseanne Marisola. Her brother Frankie has been attending the day habilitation program since he was 18 and has lived in the ARC group home for more than 15 years. Frankie is 13 years older than I am. So Frankie started coming to the ARC when he was 18. I can't imagine life without the ARC. I can't imagine Frankie's life without the ARC. It has been the greatest thing for him. He loves it. He's so happy here. I can't imagine what he'd be doing. And I can't imagine any other program that's doing a better job. Which is why Abby says it will take all of us meet her vision for an inclusive society. We're all inspired to do this great work because they're uniquely and beautifully abled and they should have the same opportunities that any one of us have. Whether you're directly affected by disability services, including autism, you should have a vested interest in creating an inclusive society because it matters. It's going to enhance us as human beings. Tony Stark, how are you? Nice job, my friend. The gentleman can relate to this because I fell into the trap the other night. Married 45 years to my wife, Jan, and she said to me, true story, how come we don't do the things we used to do when we were dating? We had so much fun. So I thought about it and felt a little guilty. So the next night, took her out to dinner. I took her to a movie. Then I dropped her at her parents' house. <laughs> Come on, I need some fun up there. And I think I met you, didn't I, down the Cape? Are you at the office in Hanover, no? Yeah, I met you down the Cape. You're very supportive. Thanks for being here. And I want to thank all of you again for being here tonight. Our goal is to make money. It's a hot night. I'll work in a couple more jokes that maybe you'll like. But right now, I think it's time to really show why we're here. And to help me do that, the Ark of the South Shore has started to reach out deeper and deeper into our community. And somebody that reached out to the Ark of the South Shore recently, you're going to meet. 
a former WBZ journalist and morning anchor, would you please welcome Liam Martin. Liam? Come on! Hey, pal. Great to be with you. Before we get to our live auction items, Liam and I are going to do a little bit of a fundraising and raise the paddle. And there's so many needs that our director talked about tonight. We're going to set our level. If, Liam, I said to you there's somebody in our audience tonight that could uh, step up and support us with a pledge of $10,000, what would that do for the art? It would do a lot, and I'm going to turn on the microphone. Okay, exactly. I shut that off to make me look good. Just so you know. <laughs> the first thing it would do is fund someone who knows how to turn on a microphone. Uh, $10,000, you saw in the video the need for group homes for that 22 and up community, this turning 22 crisis. This would fund five group homes, new group homes, this new pioneering mission by the Ark of the South Shore to help this community for young adults with autism who have aged out of the state's special education system. The wait lists for residential homes, we all know, are super long. Even the wait list to be seen is very long. So this could go a long way toward helping that community. And $10,000 would help build five of these smart homes, Jim. And you and I talked about the beginning. You make a lot of friends in life. We all have the opportunity to make a lot of money in life. But until we make a difference in somebody's life, your opportunity to make a difference. Can I see a pledge for $10,000? Anybody that can support us at the $10,000 level tonight? If not, I'll put the sides of the tent down. <laughs> and I will keep you. I just got a nice bid uh, for bid number 135 in the amount of $10,000. Can I get a round of applause? Is it all right if we acknowledge you? Bob Pinot, ladies and gentlemen, a great supporter for so many years, the Ark of the South Shore, the local business that gets it, the Ark of the South Shore with Electro Switch. Another $10,000 bid in the room. I see another $10,000. If that's the case, Liam, let's go to the $5,000 level and see what we can be at $5,000. Was there another one? No. 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 Okay. $5,000. Last year, we cut the ribbon on our first smart home. William no. lives in that home. You just saw that. And today, our goal is to upgrade the rest of the homes with the support of voice or computer-activated devices, Residents can take ownership of everyday tasks in the way that William has and Christopher, of course, as his guide. So $5,000 would go toward upgrading all the homes to have this smart technology inside. Make a huge difference in the residents' lives. I was so impressed, Liam, when I saw it on the uh, video. Do I see $5,000, a pledge for $5,000? And we can work with you on these pledges, or you can make a donation this evening. Is there five thousand dollars? You ladies that are fanning yourself, that's five, <laughs> ten, fifteen. Do I see five thousand dollars? A pledge for five thousand dollars at the five thousand dollar level. Is there some conversation, some negotiations going on over there, Robert? Are you negotiating something? <laughs> I try and five thousand dollars. Let's go to our next level, which would be that would be twenty five hundred dollars for employment services. So meaningful employment, of course, a key part of living a full life for many of the people who are in the care of the Ark of the South Shore. It can really give someone greater meaning in their life, improve community connections, and provide joy and fulfillment. And twenty five hundred dollars would go a long way toward getting that job training and coaching for some of the residents of Ark of the South Shore. It'll make a big difference, Liam. $2,500 at the $2,500 level. In just a minute, I'll explain how the raise the paddle works, okay? $2,500, where's my 25? Thank you. Thank you so much. That'll be big number. Just hold it up one more time. 132. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. We have another one over there, number 67. Give me a round of applause. And I 
and a secret bidder just came in, bid number 25, yes. What'd you say, 25,000? <laughs> I know you would. You're the best. So Bob's in it. I know you. Thank you so, so much. And I don't want to be... Is that four people at the 2,500? We had a problem with that check last year. No, just so you know. No. You're good. It's just going to Venmo You're you. good. And you know, I want to be able to walk around town. I recognize my good friend Bob, who is so generous, but his wife Donna is also here, and I don't want you to think that I don't appreciate all you do, too. So so that's a round of applause. That's 25 times I vote most likely to repeat a sacred heart. But yeah, you did a great job. Thank you. I think that's four people. Left. That's four people. Months. That's a great number. There you go. Our next level is? We're funding a need $1,000 for community engagement events. This will allow individuals in the Arkansas Shores Care to go on community field trips, visit a local museum or a concert, art show, holiday event, visiting local attractions. So it'll really help make their lives more fulfilling on a daily basis. $1,000. See the steps up right now at one. Is it 111? Okay, <laughs> at my age. 112, Peter, thank you. That's what, 94, thank you for being so generous to the arc. This does not go unnoticed. $1,000, we'll see another 1,000, 1,000 is what we'd like to see. Go ahead, what is that, 120? That cataract surgery worked, I'm telling you. 120, another level of $1,000, we'll keep moving. This is great. You don't know that. So this money comes right into the general fund and goes to the things that Liam was talking about tonight, to this cause. Our next two levels, the next one is at? $500, $500. is the next level. This is for enrichment programming. This will allow classes that benefit individuals' physical, mental, and emotional health. This is dance, fitness, adaptive yoga, cooking classes, all the stuff that you could use, Jim. <laughs> $500. Should see a bunch come up on this. Thank you, number 40. You don't have a number. But you're more than generous. Thank you. So we got number 35. Liam, you grab one, a couple, too. Down There's 100 now. over there. And not even going to... But 172. And then another behind them as well. And how about over here, guys? What is it? 17? 17? I don't have a number, but he knows me. He knows you. Thank She's you good for being so generous. And there was another behind 72 there. 72, 119. 119 as well. 72. And we're almost done. You've been great. And we'll get right to the live item, get the bar. The bar's going to, actually, I think it might open shortly. Anybody else? Did everyone who had their hands up have someone come? Come, you're all set. Wrap it up at the... Oh, another one there. Thank you. Oh, he's good. Okay. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, Liam and I do this at the $100 level, and that's what I believe is next. Is that correct? This is the $250. Oh, actually. the $250. You do it at 250 to get the younger people here an opportunity to get involved. Steve, thank you. Makes a big difference. Number 60. Number one. They got it? Number 104. Grab that one way down there. I think they're coming up crazy right now. This is to offer educational sessions and support groups. Info sessions that empower families, financial planning, guardianship, social security, and more. For $250, it can make a big difference. A big difference. Anyone else on this side of the room at the 250 level? Thank you. Right back here, and no big number on that, but you can let them know. We trust you. Wrap it up, Leo. <laughs> The last level. Did we get everyone at 250? I think we did. One more back there. Another. Back. Thank you, sir. The spotters are coming around. 26 there in front of us. And the last level is $100. This is for hobby and craft supplies. Art is an important means of expression for people in this community. When we visited here, Jackie and I, to put together that video that just aired, we saw everyone doing art and really enjoying it. So this is $100 to help uh, buy the supplies for hobby and craft time at Ark of the South Shore.
and you saw some of our clients actually doing the hobbies. Where's my hundred dollars? Put it up if you can do it with just one hundred dollars. That would be amazing. One hundred dollars in the back will get it spotted down there. Thank you for being so generous. Spotted down there, right here at 47, 108, is that correct? Number 98, number 105, number 43. It, my friend, it doesn't get much better than this. So, Liam Martin, ladies and gentlemen, WBZ former actor. <laughs> Can you bring this up just a little bit? Liam, where can everybody catch up with you these days? you have a web page? Or what? I know you're staying busy in the, in the industry. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram. We're constantly sharing Ark of the South Shore stuff. It's still Liam WBZ. I can't, can't change the handle just yet. <laughs> I get it. How about a nice round of applause? Here we go, the live auction item. Iris been walks into a bar. Says the bartender, he says, give me 10 Guinness. Bartender puts 10 Guinness down. Boom, 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 boom. The customer drinks them. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. He breaks the last glass on the bar. The bartender says, I've been a bartender for 35 years. I've never seen anybody drink that much Guinness that fast in their life. And the customer says, you drink it that fast if you got what I got. The bartender says, oh my God, I'm sorry, what do you have? Guy goes a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you'll be telling me tomorrow, I'm telling you. <laughs> Mother finds out that her 15-year-old son has gone to a strip joint. She's wild, he comes home. She grabs him by the collar and says, is there anything? She's ripping you saw at that strip joint you shouldn't have seen. And the boy goes, Dad. <laughs> You're going to use it, right? You like it? So let's open up our live auction item. And the night is young. we got more music coming. Our first item, I forbid, on the live auction, you'll be our guests, Leah Martin and myself, at a South Shore getaway where you'll enjoy a four course dinner for four at the famous. Tosca's restaurant. The head chef will prepare this for you. It'll also include a one night stay at the inn on Citroen Harbor and a membership, if you don't already have one, I think everyone here does, to the Hingham Historical Society. Open the bidding on that at just $600. Dinner for four, wine pairing. The chef does it. Where's my 600? 600 is what I like to see. $600, 600. 600 right there at number 93, 700 is what I need. 700, got 700, back you at 800. 700, eight, good, I'll go with you. Uh, 800, I think you. 800, 900, who'll give me $900? It's dinner for four, they were here tonight. Nobody does it better than, I think, that restaurant. Thank you. In all this confusion, could you go to 10,000? <laughs> <laughs> You can wrap it up at a thousand, that'd be great. Can you move just a little? I got a high bit of a thousand dollars. Where's my eleven hundred? I got one thousand once, one thousand twice. Last and final call, looking for eleven hundred. Sold for a thousand. What a special Woo! night. <laughs> well, I think you'll agree with me, they struggled this year just a little bit, but we'd like to invite you to see uh, the Boston Bruins next season. We're gonna include a limo. It's a package with four Lowe's tickets for the Bruins game. I uh, will also have, I signed it in the card just a little while ago, an 8x10 Brad Marchand hockey stick. And I also signed a Cam Neely stick for you. <laughs> Open the video on that, just $800. $800 is what I'd like to see. $800 is what I've got. Do I have a thousand increments of two? $1,000, $1,200, $1,200, back to it, $14, $14, $16 what I need, $16, it's a good bid, $16, $18, $16, $17, $17, $16 once, $16 twice, $1,700, $1,800, we're at $1,800. Yes. I'm sorry, just show me where it's at. 
right there, 1900. 1900, a sinker better from Kuwait. 1900 back to a 2000. 1900 once. 1900 twice. Last and final call. More than generous, $1,900. Thank you very much. <laughs> husband, shh, shh. husband and wife are lying in bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. Telephone rings. The husband fumbles for the receiver and he yells on the phone, How the hell do I know? I live 1,500 miles from the ocean. Slams the receiver down. Wife goes, who was that? He goes, I don't know, some guy who wanted to know if the coast was clear. <laughs> <laughs> I am so G-rated now, Bob. I don't, I don't even fool around. <laughs> well, this is a very special getaway with me. It's uh, you'll travel to a private island getaway. It's a secluded 135-acre retreat that I own in St. Martins, which is located, if you don't, the chain in the Granada Islands. You'll enjoy a trip on my boat. Uh, the sand beer is spectacular. It's a top-notch resort. It's where all of the stars go from the West Coast. You don't know who you bump into there. I will tell you that my condo is next to Bobby De Niro's, okay? Open the video on this. You'll be our guest at a resort in St. Vincent and the Grenada, open at $2,000. Has a retail value of over seven thousand. Two thousand is what I like to see. Two thousand is what I've got. Two thousand. You heard the beginning that you have to go to like me, right? That's what. What do you care? She's <laughs> Bob's daughter. And this, just so you know, uh, the people who donated there. Right? Are they here? The people who donated? No. Okay. So here's what's beautiful. Sleep six. I don't give a damn if you bring 22 people with you. <laughs> okay, the folks that own it are not here. Okay? So we'll pack it. We're at $2,000. I got to speed it up a little. $2,2500. Back to you at $3,000. Back to you at three. I've got 25. Three is what I need. Is my 25 so good? 25? 25 is good. 3000 25 once. 25 twice. This could be the steal of the night. Three thousand, goodbye. Three thousand dollars once. Three thousand dollars twice. Last and final call. She probably would have taken you with her. <laughs> Just say no, no. So for three thousand dollars, thank you for being so generous. Husband and wife are married for. 45 years, but before you applaud, I gotta tell you, 44 of those years weren't very good. Husband passes, wife says uh, from the funeral director, you have to put an obituary in the paper. He calls the Boston Globe, they want $4,700, she hangs up. Calls the Patriot Ledger, says my husband just passed away. He said, well, you're in luck. Ledger has an obituary special just today. It's five words for $25. She goes, I'll take it. The open editor says, what do you want to say? She said, put in the paper. He died, Volkswagen for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we just got this donated, and nobody does it better than the Fuji at WOC. We're going to throw in a limo. You'll enjoy a private dinner for eight at Fuji. The flagship location of the Fuji Group has a retail value of over... $2,000. Now let me get out of the way so you can see it. It's so eight people. We've only got a couple of items left. It's all about the ark, and you've done a great job so far. $1,000. Open $1,000. Where's my $1,000 to get it started? $1,500 is what I'll take, but $1,000 is what I need. $1,000. $500. $500. $1,000 there. Back to you. Is it a thousand? Be back to you with 12, 12, 14, sure. 18, 14, 16. 16 is good. Yeah, 18. 18 works. 18, wrap it up, 2,000. Ooh, eight people. I'll drive you. I'll, yeah, I'm a licensed limo driver, bro. Just 1,800. 1,800. Dinner at Fuji's. Any bids on this side of the room? 1,800 once. 
1,800 twice. Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> We're at $2,000 dollars the deck. You were $2,200. 2000 once, 2000 twice. Last and final call. Whoa. Sold for $2,000. Thank you. If you've been down the Cape and you have not had an opportunity to stay at this venue, you don't know what you're missing. I'm talking about going down to Brewster and to Ocean's Edge. It's live auction item number five. We're almost done. It's a two-night getaway, and it includes a round of golf. So maybe a special anniversary weekend this fall, just a little getaway. I'll let it go very quickly at 2200. 2200 is what I like to see, but I'll open the bidding at 500. 500 is where I need to be. You guys are golfers. That's where I saw you down at Hyannis Court. Do you remember? Yeah. Yep. 2000? No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. Open bids 800. You're good at eight? I know. Is no, that's it. Oh, that's right. Just say five. <laughs> five hundred. Go. We got five hundred. Six hundred is what I need. I got five hundred. Six hundred is a great bid. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Back to you at eight. Eight hundred. Back to you at nine. I got nine hundred. Be a thousand. It's a great take. A thousand. I love that he went around the north end. Whoa. So you'd be at eleven. You'd be at twelve. You'd be at thirteen. You'll be staying home, I think, right? <laughs> thirteen hundred. Where's my fourteen? I've got fourteen. Thanks for being so generous. Almost done. Fourteen hundred once. Fourteen hundred twice. Last and final call. Hey, Brenda. Sold for fourteen hundred. What a great getaway. And you're only minutes from downtown Chatham. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay, pay attention. We've got two items left. I never thought I'd be hyping this next item. <laughs> However, the Boston Red Sox are on fire right now. And all we can hope for is maybe a wild card bid as they beat the Yankees and they beat the Phillies. They beat all the good teams. It's the weak teams they have trouble with. So here's what we've got. A gift certificate for one night at the Marriott for two people. And this is the Boston Harbor down on Tudor Wharf. Also included a vouchers for two Red Sox tickets. And you'll make a day of it because we're going to put you on the duck boats for two. And if you want to bring some other folks in, that's great. You buy some extra tickets. Let's open it up. Let's not be bashful on this. $500. 500 to get us started. 500 with my 500. 500 right there. Be back to you. No, I get five there. Be I'm going to do it in two. 700. 700 is a good bid. 700, 900. Here's my 900. 700 is a high bidder. Looking for 900. Do I see an 800 out there? 700 once. 700 twice. I know it's getting late, but this is a hotel stay. Red Sox tickets and the deck tour. Can you move just a little bit? Can you move to nine? You can do eight souls. Thank you. Give a round of applause. Well, he was here earlier, and he, as many of you know, he's going to be on Late Night with Jimmy Kimmel tonight. I'm talking about George Washington Toma, who has his own show. They have donated a package which includes the new Weber Genesis, which is right over here, along with some rustic Marlin cornhole games, a Trader Joe's goodie bag, and a bunch of patty beverages. I have to open this at $800. That's the minimum I'll take on this. Where's my $800? $800 is what I'd like to see. $800 right there, number 129. $800, do I see $900? This is the Genesis Grill by Weber. Also includes the cornhole games, handmade by Rustic Milan and Hanover. I'm at 800. I've got 800. Uh, 900? 900. Where's my thousand? One thousand dollars. What I'd like to see? 900. A thousand? One thousand dollars. Well, I see a thousand. That's a great bid. One thousand. Be back to you at 1100. 1112. 
1,100, 1,200. I've got 1,100 once, 12, I got 12, 13. The grill, I think, is worth 13. You sure? 1,200 once, 1,200 twice, last and final call. Just so you know, there's a recall on that grill. <laughs> <laughs> we stuck it to that guy. So my twelve hundred dollars. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, with Brenda's help and the wonderful job she and her staff have done, here is our premier item, followed by a bonus item. We have reached out to uh, Paul Paul Wahlberg over at Alma Nove. Liam, this is something that you might be. It's dinner for eight people. I'm thinking maybe the owner of the company, not paying attention, would like to take the group there for their Christmas party, give her a kick right. this year. <laughs> we'll have dinner along with wine pairings. It's at Almanovi for eight people. Open the bidding at $800. $800, I'd like to see. That's a retail value. $800 to buy. $800, where's my thousand? Well, I got $129, a thousand. You'd be $1,200. 1200 was like 1200 is a great buy. 1200, 13, 1300, 1300 to Alvinovi, 1500, 1500, 1500 was by 17, 1500 once, 1700, great bid, 1718, 1718. Look at the cruise ship coming back in. Well, okay, it's the ferry. <laughs> 1700 is what I got over here. 1800, 1700 once, 1700 twice. I'm looking for 1900. Last and final call. Sold for 1700. What a great night. I'm going to come over. Wait in the car for me, okay? <laughs> well, Brenda works some magic. We got a bonus item very late. It's tell me about it. Two tickets to the Comcast suite at Fenway for a game that any game they'd like to see mutually agreed upon. And what else does it include, Brenda? Uh, private entrance into the stadium. And wines and dines. And wines and dines. Couple of special tickets, maybe take your wife in, get a son home for the summer, want to spend some special time with them, be great. It's the Comcast suite, you'll be their guest. Open it at $500, $500 is what I'd like to see. 500, I've got 500 back there. Where's my 600? 600 over here. Back to you with 700. 700. That's still the price of the ticket. The regular ticket would be the 350, but you're getting the beverages and the food and everything. You good? 700, I got 900. Can you move just a little? 900. 800, can you do 800? 800, you're catching on to me, huh? Yeah, all right, so. For eight hundred dollars, thanks for being so generous. You got it. I know, Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to enjoy this beautiful weather. I think we've got a little bit of a breeze right now, and uh, I want to take this opportunity on behalf. Friend, why don't you just close it out? I think you'd be a natural. Are you sure? Well, thank you, everybody, for a very special night. But, Thank you most of all for being supporters of the South Shore Art and making a difference for everybody that attends. Thanks. George Soma, thank you, my friend. Great job as the chair. Night, everyone. Well, before I lose everyone to the bar and all of the networking, I have one more announcement if I could just indulge you for, for just three minutes of your time. <laughs> So, um, if I could just have everybody's attention for just three minutes. 
Three minutes? Can you agree on three minutes? Yeah, do it. I've always wanted three to minutes. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, there's another special guest in the audience, and he just got here. But he's really important to the legacy of the Ark of the South Shore, and he's forever woven into the fabric of our leadership. So, indulge me for just a moment. Another dear friend of the Ark of the South Shore. His name is Leo Sarkissian. He started his career at the Ark of the South Shore, and for the last 33 years, Leo's leadership and vision for a world in which people with disabilities can thrive and be nothing short of inspiring has been his life's mission. He is the current CEO of the Ark of Massachusetts, our umbrella agency. Please welcome to the stage Leo Sarkissian, who started his career at the Ark of the South Shore. Grateful to call him my friend. Leo, I hate to do this to you, but you started here at the Ark. Incredible shoes, shoes for me to fill. I'm glad I wear heels, but but thank you so much. Would you like to say a few words? Because I'm just such a fan of yours, and I have one of these throwback pictures of me. She's great. I think you guys know that. I'm really pleased about it. I was like coming home here, and I know some of you don't know me, but um, it was one of the most special times of my life. It continues to be, so it's great to be with you tonight, Evan. Thank you so much. It's so great to be with all of you. This is such an important organization. I'm so glad you came out tonight to support it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. much for joining us on this wonderful whimsical evening under the tent on the grounds of Webb Park. Thank you for your philanthropy. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for being friends of the ARC. Get to know us, volunteer at our events. Go to www.arcsouthshore to learn more. And thank you again for being a meaningful friend of the ARC.